Rise and shine. Good morning, guys. Today is the preparation for my procedure tomorrow, which is the colonoscopy and endoscopy. They're doing it uh, at the same time. So I'm not really excited to wake up today because today is the day of the liquid diet. So I'm not going to be able to eat anything um, solid. It's just a liquid diet. But, you know, we have to do what we got to do, right? Look at the outside. It's so beautiful. So I took a Benadryl last night just to for me to sleep in a little bit longer because I usually wake up a bit early if I don't take any uh, Benadryl or something to sleep in the night before so it will just shorten my um my torture <laughs> should I say torture not really torture but I'm just saying shorten the length of the day so you know um I'm gonna get up and then try to drink as much as I can I know you can um have a coffee without any creamer or milk you can have a broth a chicken or broth cube you can have Gatorade you can have as much as water as you want and then you can have orange juice apple juice without a pop for orange juice of course so i we have to be at the surgery center um the place that they're doing the colonoscopy and endoscopy around 6 a.m uh we were supposed to uh checking in a hotel so that you know it will be near the location because we are worried about the traffic the traffic over here where we live going to Bay Area is a little bit crazy, but uh, we ended up, you know, canceling that and just staying home. I am more comfortable being at home, although, you know, um, I am like kind of like you wanted to get food downstairs, but I'm okay here. My husband is more comfortable being here at home and I am more comfortable being here at home also. But let's see, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna be updating you from time to time and hopefully this procedure will be done soon and praying for a good results i just needed this because i had um some problems before and this is, will be my third colonoscopy i had a colonoscopy done the first time like probably eight years ago and they found uh, uh polyps which is the polyps that kind of grow uh, it grows really big but they're not cancer so thank god so my doctor my doctor told me to just do it you know every five years or three years if there's anything that you see that is changing so yep i am not even 50 years old yet but for people that is over or 50 or over you know get it checked get get it checked guys it's always nice to be healthy and get everything checked right all right, I'll see you in a bit. Lunch, beef broth, jello, and some Gatorade. I'm gonna be starting my suit tab. All right. Comes with two bottles. Every bottle comes with, I think, 12. Capsules or tablets. Add water up to this line. And it's time. It's already 3 p.m. Alright, let's open up this. tablets let's do this do it in within 30 minutes with this water Ooh, so I just got done with those 12 capsules I couldn't make it I couldn't take them in like 20 minutes so I got like over 20 minutes taking them uh i think i'm getting a little bit nervous but i have to kind of just take it slow and relax and everything will be fine i'm just i don't know i'm like a little bit anxious or anxious or just a little bit nervous 
and I'm gonna take a 16 ounce of water around um, 4.30, it's an hour after the last tablet. And then after that, wait for another 30 minutes and take another six, six, 16 ounce of water. But I have a Gatorade beside me just, you know, to be fine. And you should not let yourself be hydrated. All right, I'm gonna update you in a bit. I am just patiently waiting for my first run to the bathroom. Let's see what happens. But as of now, I'm just trying to relax and watch the uh, season four of the Ozark. Hi guys, so far so good. Uh, it's been like probably, well, um, I can say like uh, the first hour after taking my, my uh, last tablet from the first dose, I've been the bathroom so many times, you know, I was like, I thought I'm going to be like nauseated, vomiting, but it just, I guess it's all in your brain. So I just kind of just relax and just, you know, do whatever I have to do, drink a lot of water and yep, I've been going to the bathroom, but it's just clearing all the stuff in there, your intestine and everything. So it's all good. Hi guys, it's about um, three hours after I took the first dose, which is a 3 p.m. It's almost six and um, I've been to the bathroom probably eight times and it is a success. And I'm starting to have just a clear yellow one. And I know a lot of people, they kind of stop, they said with the second dose because they thought that they're clean but no, don't do that. Still take your second dose. Um, I'm going to be taking my second dose like in an hour and a half from now. And before that, I'm going to go ahead and shower. So I will be ready for the night. And then I'm going to take that dose and then just con uh, continue drinking. You know, continue the uh, steps and drinking a lot of water. I have my husband bought me apple juice and also orange juice without the pop so it's good to go and update you later guys it's 8 15 right now i made me a uh, beef broth just to get a little bit of you know energy over here i got me another um apple juice i think apple juice makes me really uh makes me feel a little bit better so yes i'm gonna be drinking this uh beef broth to get a little bit of energy the salt in your body i'm a little bit weak right now so yep just keep fighting hope it will be done soon good morning guys yes i survived through the night it's already the um, colonoscopy endoscopy day. It's 4.35 right now. We're leaving in 10 minutes. So yeah, I survived. I slept like around 11.30 and you cannot drink any water after midnight. So I slept good. I didn't uh, went to the bathroom to poop uh, around that time because my last um, set or my second dose at 7 p.m. from so around like 7.40, 8 o'clock to until like probably 10 10 30 i was still uh doing the pooping all movement but then after that everything is well so i slept really good and i'm just ready for this to be done so yep we'll update you from time to time um i'll see you later oh yeah by the way i just wanted to show you what i'm wearing i'm just wearing a pair kind of pajama i mean it doesn't really look like a pajama, but you have to wear something that is very comfortable, that is easy to remove and easy to wear. Because after your surgery, your nurse will be just uh, going to be helping you, you know, dress up. So you want it easy to wear. All right, guys, we're leaving now. Uh, I'll update later if I could, if they allow us to film on the place where I'm going to have it done, the procedure done. See ya so we are here already i'm here and what's the phone number to reach david what's the 
been back like probably around even before eight that was so quick the procedure was so quick they took me in at six and i was done before seven for those two things that they did to me and then we got home before eight and then i fell back to sleep so now i'm here um so just to let, i just wanted to let you know that it was so easy it is very you know you're not even gonna feel anything i know when they took me into that procedure room there's like a filipina um nurse over there not a nurse she's my anesthesiology she put something on my iv and not even a minute i was like sleeping and they woke me up uh when i was already you know on the um recovery room and it was good and then they called my husband and that's it it was so quick painless and it's good so you guys don't, you know, the the only thing that is kind of hard is the first, the, the preparing time. But, you know, you can do it. I'm sure you can do it. And I uh, saw the doctor. He said that everything looks good. So I'm good for another five years. And I'll be 50 by then. By the way, also, I wanted to add that I kind of wanted to really film this. So by the next time I'm going in for another procedure, same procedure, I will know what I went through or something like that. So this is a little bit better. So tab is a bit better. Hello guys. I just wanted to give you an update with the test that they did to me. Well, I had that colonoscopy endoscopy a few days ago and the doctor got back to me. I have that uh, bacterial infection on my stomach. It is on my upper stomach. I guess it's like an ulcer or helicobacter infection, something like that. So uh, this is like a two third of the world's population has it. That's what they said. It's very, very common to people. But, you know, I had some symptoms. That's why I asked them to uh, do a endoscopy on me. So a lot of people doesn't even have a symptoms. And this can cause ulcers. Most of the people, they says it doesn't really cause ulcer. For what I remember, I had endoscopy back in 2000 and and six and i had a gastritis so i've been having a problem with my stomach before but they keep just giving me some kind of a medication like omeprazole or something like that so it's really good to get it tested guys because uh see if i have not had the endoscopy done i will not know that i have this uh infection so they gave me two kinds of antibiotics amoxicillin and uh, biaxin and omeprazole to take for 14 days but the problem with that i had some kind of a swelling on my face like i see my face very swollen when i wake up so the doctor just stopped me from using it so i'm gonna have an appointment later around 12 o'clock or 12 noon to talk about the medication that i should be taking you know um and not with that medication that i had but uh that's what i'm trying to say you just you know if you have something that you don't feel normal in your body get it checked right away it doesn't matter what age you are i am almost 45 years old and i had colonoscopy this is my third colonoscopy and and yeah they found a little polyps again and they just removed it get it checked uh, you have to tell your doctor you want it to get checked and um yeah i just wanted to share that an update i'm about to head to work so hi guys i'm at work right now just a quick update on the thing that i told you that i'm gonna be um, having an appointment with my doctor so he stopped all the medication that i was talking um about like the amoxicillin and the clarithromycin or biaxin um i can continue my omeprazole but he just wants me to take or to um eat yogurt day and night so twice a day for yogurt and i will see him again like in three months but he wants me to eat yogurt twice a day and see if it uh, cures by itself 
So I'm just trying to edit my video right now and I said so many goodbyes to you throughout this video. I guess I'm just learning how to make videos so bear with me guys. Um, instead of me saying, you know, I will update you later, I keep saying, you know, bye and see you on my next video. I'm so sorry, I'm still learning. I hope, you know, you understand that. But this is the real goodbye now. That's an update and thank you so much again for watching and see you on my next one. Bye!